Since the release of Google Earth 5, Google Earth has been an excellent application for exploring the world's oceans. This is because we finally have included the ability to map bathymetric data, or seafloor terrain, to the globe. This is particularly useful if you have navigational charts, such as NOAA's RNCs, or raster navigation charts. You can import these easily into Google Earth, either in the standard free application, or build them into the globe in Google Earth Enterprise. Here I'll turn on two different charts. We have a large chart that covers the Northern Pacific, and then we have a smaller, more detailed chart that covers the Hawaiian Islands. At first glance, it may look like these charts are just draped on top of the globe. But because they take advantage of a special property of KML called clamp to seafloor, as you zoom in, you'll actually notice that the parts of the charts that are covered on the land remain above the seafloor surface, but the parts of the chart that are actually below water will actually clamp to the seafloor below the surface of the water. As we tilt it, we can see the effect more dramatically. Here we see the Hawaiian Islands protruding from the Pacific Ocean, and the charts with the depths drape to the seafloor below. Now this is particularly useful if you wanted to, say, navigate along uh, underwater features. And the effect is most dramatic in areas where there's actually quite a bit of change in the relief, such as the pinnacles. I'll drop below the water surface here. And you can see that we have ridges and other bathymetric data clearly outlined by the charts and the charts clearly drape over them. Another useful feature is the ability to create a tour. A tour is a series of waypoints recorded in Google Earth that allow you to, for instance, create a uh, navigation path and then share that with somebody else. It's very simple. All I need to do is click the record a tour button and I can come down here and I can even narrate this tour if I want but all I need to do is click on this red record button. I'm now recording the tour and we'll play it back here in a second. So I'm just going to come in, fly under the water surface, and navigate for a short amount of time. I can create turns and run along this ridge line if I wanted to. When I'm finished with my tour, I just have to click the red record button to stop. And now, automatically, I'm not controlling this anymore. Rather, this control bar down here at the bottom controls the speed of the tour. These files are very small and just need to be passed off to anybody else running Google Earth software to view. Thank you.